There's a lot of talk about all those muscles that should pull your shoulder blade back. And that's great, but when you go to push, push too far and they want to lift up, and then this one's top. Yeah. So, serratus in here, pulls your shoulder blade back, and then when you go forward, like you, your shoulder is allowed to go forward, but when it goes forward, you want to engage the serratus, so you scoot the blade forward. And so when you're pulling back, you kind of felt that muscle trying to, it's about controlling your shoulder blade going back and forth, instead of going just yeah, up yeah. and down. Okay. And so when you say you don't have that movement to lift it, it's because everything's tied up here, your shoulder capsule's wrapped forward, and so it's really hard to get that range of motion. Yeah, so you need to get the shoulder blade to swoop forward and pull that blade forward, you should feel the serratus engage, and then come up. So you try and pull that shoulder down and then up. Like it's interesting yeah. when you gave me your arm, you said I can't lift it, and right away that to me like this. Yeah. Just drop that shoulder blade down, create the space, and then shoulder. you get more. Yeah, so I can I can go to there, but if I extend my arm, I couldn't get that movement. Yeah. So it's also tight in these ones here, and that's what I was saying before when I was using the kettlebell. I could actually feel the stretch in there. So. Just lift yeah. away. Now try and pull your shoulder blade down and back, and now see if you can raise your hand a bit further. I've got it on my own. I don't know. You got more movement. Do you think? Well, before I corrected you already. Yeah. But people get these issues from trying to lift like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to create that space and then work on it. Yeah. And you can do, keep, for a reference point, stand against the wall and make sure your shoulders are against the wall. And then try and lift your arm and see what happens with that. You'll feel it now yeah. when you see your right shoulder's way off. Yeah, it is. So squeeze <laughs> it back, hold your shoulder blade down, squeeze it against the wall, and then try and lift your arms. Oh, it hurts my neck. Get that contact there. <laughs> but it's like a. You feel where it's tight, you feel the right muscles engaging to try and, yeah. try and get through that tightness. Yeah. Much better than just avoiding it, right? Or, yeah. or guarding. So you try and close that gap. So we did um, vertically here as well. Vertically, that's um, for you obviously a challenging position to get to, but also horizontally. Just lift your arms out in front if you can. Yep, see, I couldn't do that before I started yeah. physio. Now, now close your shoulders against the wall. Oh, uh, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it. Right. You're doing it. Your shoulders. your shoulders are like that. Oh, no. Nah. You just did it. It's not about getting it perfect. You let it's it just, go? just trying to give you that awareness. It's like. <laughs> you're like here. Just giving you that awareness of the wall so that you can. Nah, I have to put my arms back there to be able to get my shoulder up on the wall. It's so frustrating when your body won't do it. Yeah, that's it. I can see it starting to happen. No, I have to move my arms back. I can't do it with my arms straight. There's like nothing there. Yeah, well, you tried two times and said you can't do it. So keep working yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got to use, stop saying that. Can't do it yet. <laughs> use the wall for feedback. That's all I'm saying. Use the wall for feedback. And then you actually, now you actually know before you'd have your shoulders right forward and then you pull your. Yeah. So at least now you know, right? Would this be why I get lots of knots here? Yes. So I'm overusing them. Yeah, like, same, same sort of deal, yeah. Yeah, you know, when you really stick that muscle out and you flex it, it's like that bit is what hurts me all the time. I get knots galore. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously I'm knowing and not tucking. Yeah. You know. Like I said. And I get tendonitis down this arm. 90% of it. Tendonitis. Yeah, same deal. Absolutely. The range of your arms naturally is meant to be up, up and down in front of you. You should always use your hands where you can see them. Yeah. So everyone's doing these push-ups like this and roll forward, and then um, lifting out here. And so when you push, you, the, job, the job of your chest muscle is to adduct your arm. Yeah. So when you're pushing, don't think about trying to push yourself forward and get to here. Think about keeping your shoulder blades squeezed together. Once you've done this a few times and you can feel that muscle in your shoulder blades, you want to engage that, keep it squeezed, and all you're doing with your chest from here is bringing your elbows in. So your shoulders are still back. You see my blades are still squeezed together, and then I can bring my elbows in without actually going forward at all. So when you're doing your push-ups on the sink, you're just trying to bring your elbows together rather than trying to push yourself forward. 
home, make sure my shoulder blades stay where they're meant to, because that way I know that my shoulders are back. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. you want to feel those shoulder blades, feel them squeeze. Hard things to do because you can't see those muscles. Yeah. Even in a mirror, you can't see them. Yeah. And I've been getting him to try and hold that down as much as he can, and it's still. Yeah. So it's interesting making sure that the shoulder blades are the actual ones moving, not my, not his. So you work on it until you. Um, Yeah, just work on that until it becomes patterns, habits. Now that feel, Lisa, better? Yeah. Try and get those elbows pointed towards the back wall a bit more. That's it. How many of those can you do? Few, because I'd say your hands are a bit too high. Quite. Yeah. Yeah. What did you say? I'm a genius. 